Dana. Welcome to Tools and Tips to Owning Your Worth. We're, I'm hopeful that you don't hear the tennis balls or maybe, you know, you do hear the tennis balls and that's great because it's a bunch of kids having a joyful, fun time in the middle of summer. So, but you know, that's what happens when you're outside. Um, so I wanted to bring up a topic that somebody brought to my attention in my office after watching a few of my episodes on my YouTube channel. What does it mean to be with yourself? What does it mean to sit with yourself? What does it mean to stay inside of yourself? That was her question. And I thought it was a brilliant question because some of the things that I talk about, I take for granted that everybody knows bias. I'll talk about it later on a different episode. Um, and it really got me thinking like, well, yeah, you know, if you've never spent any time meditating or in Tai Chi or Qigong or yoga or, you know, a massage or things like that, how in the world are you supposed to know what it feels like to be with yourself? So today we're going on a little adventure on um, figuring out how to stay in the body, not out of the body, and what that really means. So for instance, if all of you could, you know, if you're sitting, put your feet on the floor, hands on your thighs, or you know, hands on the chair, whatever feels comfortable. It's easy, I'm gonna ask you to please just um, focus on your heart or your chest or your heartbeat. You don't have to close your eyes or anything, but focus on something physical happening inside of your body. Maybe heartbeat doesn't work and it's your breath. Or maybe you're focusing on your central nervous system and you can feel the tingle. If I were to pause, and I'm not gonna do it for too long because you know, this is a YouTube channel. I don't want you just sitting and listening and watching nothing. <laughs> but I am gonna pause for 10 seconds, okay? And, I want, and then we're gonna come back to it. So again, focus on your stomach or your breathing or your heart. Here we go. Are you still in there? Are you still inside your body? How many of you are thinking about what you're doing after you watch this episode? How many of you are thinking about shopping or thumbing to the next YouTube episode of somebody else? Or what's going on behind me? Or what's going on in the room where you are? It, within 10 seconds, we leave our body. We flee. <laughs> get it? So that's why I love to teach people to stay inside and make that a meditation and um, spend some time with themselves. When we go into the past, when we go into the future, when we go next door in a parallel, you know, to like our neighbors or whatever, it diminishes our capacity to um, think clearly, it diminishes our, our retention capacity, it can make us fatigued. If you struggle with fatigue, I would encourage you to once a day sit quietly and focus on the inside of your body and see how long you can stay there. And the key is you're gonna drift you know but when you drift pull yourself back if you notice oh my gosh I'm totally thinking about the song I heard on the radio yesterday that's okay give grace pull yourself back in and, and try again because so, that's really what it means to be inside your body and I already did one episode which I will link below, um, about kind of sort of about this. And the reasons we want to be inside our bodies are because we want to be able to feel our emotions fully. We want to be able to live our experiences completely and wholly. And it's a lot easier to do those things if you're in here. Okay, not here so much, but here. If we are in touch with what's going on from the neck down, we can live a healthier, healthier life all the way around. So, just something to think about. To my subscribers, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if this resonates with you, and I hope it does, please like the episode and think about subscribing. Until next time, namaste.